Today we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Wednesday, December 29, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Los Angeles Lakers vs Memphis Grizzlies Leading Lakers scoring output in the game was James, 27.4 ppg, who scored 39 points in the game and was one of two players to score at least 20 points. The defense needs to step up more consistently as they are allowing 44.6% of shots to fall against them and are giving up 112.3 ppg, which is 27th in the NBA. They need to play even better defensively if they want to pull out the win. Memphis comes into this contest favored by 4.5 points, but that number might be a bit of a stretch in this spot. With Lebron playing center on Tuesday, the Lakers flourished on offense and benefited from better floor spacing by getting some additional three-point shooters on the floor. Meanwhile, the Grizzlies are coming off of an emotional last-second win versus the Suns, which could leave them primed for a letdown spot against a Lakers team that has underperformed to this point in the season. The Memphis Grizzlies have been struggling to begin this season as they are 21-14 to begin the regular season. They are being led by shooting guard Desmond Bain so far, and that is going to help them progress throughout the regular season. They are coming off a 114-113 road win against the Phoenix Suns. The biggest problem that popped up was the fact they allowed the Suns to shoot 51.1% from the floor throughout the game. Our first betting advice is to pick Los Angeles Lakers plus 4. Memphis escaped with a 114-113 victory on the road in Phoenix against the Suns on Monday evening. John Morant scored 33 points, including the game winner in the final seconds, to propel the Grizzlies to victory. Desmond Bain added a career-high 32 points, while Steven Adams added 13 points, 16 rebounds, and 7 assists in the win. In Tuesday's win, James started at center for the first time in his basketball career. The gamble paid off in a big way for the Lakers, who shot 14 for 34 from three-point on the night. According to dunksandtrees.com, the Lakers come into Wednesday's matchup ranked number 24 in the NBA, with an adjusted minus 3.1 net rating. Los Angeles has scored at an adjusted rate of 106.9 points per 100 possessions for the season, 26th in the NBA. The Lakers have been slightly better on defense, posting an adjusted 110.0 defensive rating through 35 games, 19th in the NBA. Our second betting advice is to pick over the total. Atlanta Hawks vs Chicago Bulls Atlanta got center Clint Capella back from the COVID protocols, but the absence of Young remains a major hurdle. Capella is third in the NBA, averaging 12.7 rebounds per game. Young is fourth in scoring in the NBA, with 27.3 points and second in assists. They desperately miss his playmaking ability. Other Hawks who remain out in protocols are Danilo Gallinari, Kevin Huerter, Timothy Luau Kabarit, Lou Williams, Anika Okongwu, Sheriff Cooper, Jalen Johnson, and Wes Iwandu. We just saw these teams meet Monday in Atlanta, and the Bulls got the better of the Hawks, even with the return of Trey Young. With that said, Atlanta took a hit Tuesday with Bogdanovic, Yang and Malik Ellison all entering the protocols, upping their total to 13. Chicago has won four straight after having a couple of games postponed due to their own COVID-19 outbreak. Having the trio of Darazin, Lavin and Vucevic on the floor makes the Bulls dangerous, regardless of who may be missing. The Bulls and their rejuvenated roster are playing excellent basketball this season. The additions of Demer Darazin and Lonzo Ball have given them an elite defensive backcourt capable of playing with the best teams in the Eastern Conference. Their other prized offices in addition, Alex Caruso, is expected to miss a week with a sprained left foot. When fully healthy, the Bulls will be a dangerous team during the stretch run. Our first betting advice is to pick Chicago Bulls. For the year, Chicago stands ninth in the league in scoring offense, with an average of 110.1 points per contest. The Bulls are 27th in rebounding as they collect an average of 42.8 boards a night, while they are 16th in assists, by handing out an average of 23.5 dimes per contest. Chicago is 10th in scoring defense, as they allow an average of 106.6 points per game this season. Zach Lavin is second on the team with 26.4 points per contest on the year. D. 
Demir Derizin contributes 27 points a night, while Nikola Vucevic, 15.8 points, 10.9 rebounds, 3.6 assists, and Lonzo Ball, 13.2 points, 5.4 rebounds, 5 assists, each average in double figures. Alex Caruso, Kobe White, Javon Green, Ayo Desunmu, Derek Jones Jr., Tony Bradley and Alfonso McKinney are looked at to provide valuable minutes as well. As a team, Chicago is fourth in the league in field goal percentage, as they knock down 47.2% of their shots on the year. The Bulls are 24th in the league by knocking down 11.43 pointers per contest, while they stand third by hitting 37.8% of their attempts from beyond the arc on the year. Patrick Williams suffered a wrist injury against the Knicks on October 28. He underwent surgery and is expected to miss four to six months. Ball, Bradley and McKinney are in the health and safety protocols, while Caruso is out with a mid-foot sprain. Jones Jr. is questionable with a hamstring injury. The Hawks enter this contest 10th in scoring offense by averaging 110.1 points per game. Atlanta is 10th in rebounding by collecting 45.7 boards a night, while the team stands 15th by dishing out 23.5 assists per contest. Atlanta is 22nd in the league in scoring defense, as they allow opponents to score 109.7 points per game this season. Trey Young leads the team with 27.3 points and 9.3 assists per game this season. John Collins puts up 17.6 points plus 7.9 rebounds a night. DeAnder Hunter chips in 10.8 points a game, while Kevin Huerter, 10.5 points, and Cam Reddish, 12.8 points, are good secondary scoring options. Clint Capella, 11.2 points, 12.8 rebounds, 1.5 blocks, Bogdan Bogdanovic, 11.7 points, Gorgie Dyang, Lou Williams, Danilo Gallinari, Anika Okongwu, Solomon Hill, Dylan Wright and Skylar Mays are key rotation pieces for coach Nate McMillan. Atlanta is 13th in the league in field goal percentage by hitting 45.9% of their shots from the floor this season. The Hawks are 15th in threes per game as they hit 12.3 per contest and stand second in three-point percentage as they hit 37.9% of their attempts from beyond the arc. Hunter, wrist, had surgery in mid-November and is expected to miss eight weeks, putting him out until sometime in January. Hill is done for the year with a torn hamstring. Williams, Wright, Collins, Gallinari, Bogdanovic, Yang, Huerter, Okongwu, Timot Luau Kabarit, Wesa Wundu and Sheriff Cooper are all in the health and safety protocols, so keep an eye out for updates about their status. Our second betting advice is to pick under the total. Miami Heat vs San Antonio Spurs. The Heat come into tonight's game having defeated the Orlando Magic by a score of 93-83. In a strong defensive effort, Miami held the Magic to just 31% shooting from behind the arc. The Heat held the biggest advantage in the paint, outsourcing Orlando by a margin of 46-34. The San Antonio Spurs have been in great shape as they've won four of their past six games, and they will be hoping to bounce back after having their three-game win streak halted by the Jazz in a 110-104 home loss on Monday. Derek White led the team with 21 points and 8 assists, Doug McDermott added 17 points, while Keldon Johnson and Devin Vassell each scored 13 points. As a team, the Spurs shot 45% from the field and 10 of 30 from the three-point line, as they struggled to keep up with the Jazz in the first half and trailed by as many as 18 points, before pouring in 34 points in the fourth quarter to keep the final scores respectable. In San Antonio's most recent game, the team fell to the Utah Jazz by a score of 110-104. Even though the Spurs held Utah to just 29% shooting from outside, they made only four free throws compared to Utah at 23. Playing without Dejan Murray, the team was paced by Derek White with 21 points in 35 minutes of action. Our first betting advice is to pick Miami plus three. The Miami Heat enter today's game having won three straight games. In their past 10 contests, the Heats have played above .500 basketball, going 7-3. As the road team, the Heat traveled to San Antonio with a positive plus-minus of rating 0.8 points. Overall, the Heat are ranked fifth among NBA teams in point differential, minus 1.1. Among NBA teams, they have played the ninth toughest schedule. The San Antonio Spurs enter today's game having won six of their past 10 games. When playing home from home, the Spurs are winning at a below .500 rate, having gone 7-10. As they get set to host the Heat, San Antonio has a positive home plus-minus of 1.9 points. Overall the Spurs are ranked 10th among NBA teams in point differential, minus 1.8, while playing the 10th easiest schedule. The Miami Heat have been in terrific shape as they've won 8 of their past 10 games, and they will be gunning for a 5th straight victory after taking down the Wizards in a 119-112 home win last night. 
Tyler Harrow led the team with 32 points on 9 of 19 shooting off the bench, Duncan Robinson drained 8 three-pointers on his way to 26 points on 9 of 17 shooting, while Jimmy Butler tallied 25 points with 8 rebounds and 15 assists. As a team, the Heat shot 44% from the field and 16 of 34 from the three-point line as they set the tone with 38 points in the first quarter to build an early double-digit lead, which grew to 28 points, but it wasn't all smooth sailing as the Heat had to hold off a late run from the Wizards. In the year, the San Antonio Spurs' leading scorer has been Dejan Murray at 17.8 points per game. However, Murray enters this contest on the health and safety protocols list. Behind him is Keldon Johnson at 15.3 points per game. So far, Johnson has been efficient from behind the arc, connecting at a rate of 47%. Our second betting advice is to pick under the total.